Simple Cafe Illustrated Tutorials Short and Sweet. Hey, we've all seen these RCA ports growing up, or maybe even still today, but we never even got around to trying them out. Why not? Perhaps it's because they could barely take off before HDMI exploded onto the tech scene. Now I will say that if HDMI is not available on your device, but these are, you should go ahead and use them because they are better than the standard yellow RCA cable. I'll show you a comparison at this part of the video, and if you need any of these things here, find the links in the description. And stay tuned to the end to pick up a fun fact. Okay, first of all, let's clear up something that could be a little confusing. Most of us call these here RCA cables, and these are usually referred to as component cables. But here's the thing, both of these sets are technically RCA cables. So to be specific going forward, we can refer to this combo as composite video. Another thing that we can go ahead and demystify is the audio, and the fact that in both sets, they're the same. Seeing as how each set has red and white cables, in the RCA world, these colors are reserved for right and left audio. So now we can see that with both sets, we're gonna get left and right audio. Great. So now we can focus on what's different. Looking at the yellow cable that you're probably already familiar with, we know that this is where our video signal travels through. So this familiar combo gives us left and right audio and through just one lone cable of video signal. Okay, so now component. Well, we know that we still get left and right audio and all these other cables are for video. <laughs> what? Three cables for just video? What's the point? Why don't I just stick with one yellow cable, you may ask? I hear you. But let me tell you that within just one yellow cable, both the brightness and color information, which makes up the video signal, are cramped through this one single cable, and the outcome is not as good as it could be. So instead of jamming it all through one single cable slash passageway, Component gives the brightness and color signals their very own passageway to your TV. And this produces a nicer image plus draws the entire picture per frame. What the heck do I mean by that? Well, video is a bunch of still pictures displayed quickly to make movement, right? Well, that's a lot for one composite cable. So in order for it to be able to make all those images so quickly, it actually cheats a little and only draws parts of the image at a time. We just can't really tell because it's doing it so fast anyway. And this little trick is called interlacing, which explains the eye you may see after some numbers like 1080i or in this case, 480i which is a way of saying part of 480 lines are being shown per frame. This results in what's known as standard definition. Hmm, not so standard anymore, right? Anyway, when you use component cables, it won't need to rely on this interlacing trick because component cables have the capacity of drawing the entire image per frame due to having more cables to send the video signals through. And this particular capability is called progressive scan, which is why component is labeled as 480p. This means that the movement in your picture is gonna look sharper. Okay, okay, let's go have a look. Here we have the composite video footage and in comes a circle of component footage. Hey, nice water. So ultimately, it's up to you whether or not you wanna use the component connection for your older RCA devices. If you do decide to make the jump to component, remember the following. Your TV has to have these ports, of course. Now, when it comes to the cable, on the other end, that side can be different depending on your media player. Here's an example of what I mean. To connect this DVD player to my TV, I need a component to component cable. Simple enough, right? Well, in some cases, like this video game console, seeing as how it doesn't have the component ports, I'll need a component cable made specifically for this device, which has component on one end and a connector made for this particular device on the other end. So depending on the device you're trying to connect, you may need to search for a component cable specific to your device if your device doesn't have those component ports. So what you'll have to do is type the name of your device and then component cable after that. In my case, I found this by searching Wii component cable. 
Now, if you don't find the cable specific to your device, it's possible that your device wasn't made to output a component signal, and so a cable for it was simply never made. If you're thinking, aha, I'll look for a composite to component converter, I'd say great idea, but I already looked and I didn't find any. So your closest bet for something like that would be if your player has an S-Video port. You could then use this adapter for the video signal. Or if your TV also has an S-Video port, then just get a simple S-Video to S-Video cable. That too improves your picture quality. If you don't notice an immediate improvement while your picture is producing moving images, check your TV settings to select progressive scan. Now here's your fun fact for hanging on. You've probably noticed a new phenomenon with your pets, that is that they actually pay attention to TVs now. The thing is that now they can actually see what's happening on the screen. Remember how I mentioned that video is a bunch of still pictures shown very quickly to make motion? Well, for our human eyes, as long as about more than 16 frames are shown per second, for us it'll look like regular movement. For our pet's eyes, however, they require to be shown more than 60 picture frames per second for what they're looking at to look like motion. So to them, our older TVs, which played about 30 frames per second, probably just look like a flickering rectangle. So now you see why your pets actually look at the TV more than they ever did before. Well, there you go. You've gotten an idea of how you can improve the picture quality of your older yet still precious content. Give me a like if you now understand the component connection and feel free if you have any questions. I hope you end up subscribing so you can more easily find my videos when looking for help with your electronics. Cheers and take care.